so if you ask somebody to give an example of property, um, they'd probably pick up a pen or talk about their iPad or something like that. And so your kind of standard paradigm examples of property would be things other than yourself. Okay, now it can get a little bit sort of mystical because how do you own land? Land is a sort of strange thing to, if you think about it because it, some of the things that you can do with other pieces of property, you can't do with land. So for example, I mean, I can smash my pen <laughs> if I choose to do so, be foolish, but I could do it. How would I do that with my land? It's kind of weird, right? Uh, so so not, not every note, not every characteristic of property attaches to every form of property. Um, so how then do you own yourself? Well, it's the sort of limiting case. It seems rather strange. It's like a reflexive thing. So in other words, when I own a pen, it's like a relationship between me and the pen, right? I, and so I have established that I have the exclusive right to make use of this and no other may make use of it without my permission or without my selling it or exchanging it and so on. And you think, well, does that actually apply to yourself? And the answer is from a libertarian perspective, yes. In that sense, even though I'm not external to myself, okay, so I, I, there's no external relation. Nonetheless, if there's anything, I mean, if, if I can say of a pen that you may not use it without my permission, how much more can I in fact say of myself that you may, may, you may not make use of me without my permission? And in that sense, you own yourself. Now, by the way, this is entirely within the world, this worldly realm. I'm not making any theological judgment here, right? Because as a Christian, I happen to believe that as it were, sort of God in some strange sense owns us. That's another issue and I don't want to go there, right? But I, so I'm not, I'm not making any judgment on that, but I'm just saying within the bounds, this worldly bounds, each person owns himself and owns himself more exhaustively, more exclusively, okay, than he could possibly own anything else.